Ken surfs here and a Super Bowl Sunday shave. Wow, seems like just yesterday uh, was the last Super Bowl shave I did, but time flies when you're having fun, right, gents? Today also, I'm gonna be doing a shave using another classic cologne slash aftershave. Uh, a lot of you guys were commenting on the previous cologne aftershave videos and you were asking for this. I actually like this because it's a cologne slash aftershave. Jovan Musk, and it's from Coty. This is one of the uh, earlier blends of this. And I got to admit, it smells pretty good. Now, I never used this back in the day, let's say. Uh, I heard of it, saw the commercials. In fact, here's one of the commercials now. <laughs> Well, anyway, I got about three of these, uh, let me lock that exposure. I got three of the vintage uh, colognes came in at about the same time. And uh, my wife goes, oh, you keep buying this old stuff. But she tried, uh, smell this one, and she liked this better than most of the others that have just came in. So uh, you guys who said uh, that the ladies really like this, you are correct. It appears that uh, this, and they still make it today, but I don't know how the original formula or the new formula works. So I'll be doing a shave with that today. I'll be doing a shave with some Susie, Vanna, patchouli, and cedarwood shave soap. Nice. Whew. Definitely smells nice. And I'm putting it in the Captain's Choice shave bowl to whip it up with. Somebody had asked about this, they thought it was plastic, but this is actually a porcelain or clay, whatever. But uh, it's from Captain's Choice and it's a great little bowl. It's easy to handle. Uh, this grab, I can grab this with my thumb. You've seen me use this before, but somebody had thought this was plastic and uh, no, it's actually uh, porcelain. Haven't used this one in a while. My Samoog Owner's Club Badger brush. Probably the most expensive Samoog brush I own, uh, mainly because it's like a limited edition or a collectible one. But uh, man, I really like this. Classic wooden handle. It's been a while, so I'm going to put it into the uh, crystal skull right here. Let it soak a little bit as I'm getting this ready. Also be uh, using some Humphreys before the uh, aftershave. Now the razor, man, it's been three months since I've used this on film, but uh, one of my go-to razors, the Mercure 34G. And several of you have asked, hey, what's a good razor to start out with? I don't have a lot of money. I want a, a good razor, like one razor. I don't want to collect 50 of them. And here is the 34C and the 34G. I'm telling you, gents, these are really great razors. Uh, they're my to go-to razors when I uh, want a good shave. Now, there's a lot of other ones out there, but they may be a little more spendy than this. There's probably some a little cheaper. In fact, I'm getting a Parker variant in the mail soon. My friend John has uh, you got a Rockwell. I think he got a Rockwell 6S, and he says he no longer wants his Parker variant and asked if I wanted to trade for something. So I've got some items going to him. He's sending me the Parker variant, so I'll be able to do a Parker variant shave coming up. All right, as far as blades, one of the rarer Gillettes that I own, because I cannot get them here, I can't find them anyway, in this package, the Gillette Super Thin. And one of you guys had sent me a couple of these, because I, I think he goes to South America or Mexico, where they are available, and he sent me a few of these, and these are like my rare ones. I bring these out on rare occasions. So if you guys know a line where I can get these uh, online to purchase, please let me know, because uh, I've got a lot of the Wilkinson Sword Gillettes, but these ones really work great, super thin, and uh, I'm running low. I've got about two packs left. So if you guys know of a tip, let me know. All right, I've got about three days growth on this. Let me wet that a little bit, and I'm gonna be using some pre-shave oil from Easy Blade. You know, I got this from Easy Blade probably over a year ago, 
and man, still on the original bottle. I've got the uh, pre-shave creams too, Parasso and Prep, but uh, sometimes these oils, and I have the art of shaving too, these oils really work good. They help if you've got a lot of growth. And I'm going to a Super Bowl party today, so I don't want nicks all over my neck. Nicks all over my neck. Saw a uh, top secret last night from 1984. And uh, it just reminded me of this scene. You remember this, if you saw it? Thank you. Um, Hillary. Hillary? That's an unusual name. It's a German name. It means she whose bosoms defy gravity. I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Nick. Nick? What does that mean? Uh, nothing. My dad thought of it while I was shaving. One funny movie, I'm here to tell you. All right. Let's get that soap out of that badger a little bit and start whipping it up in here. You know, I was going to wear a Super Bowl jersey today. I've, I've got several jerseys because uh, I follow several teams, but I do not have a Philadelphia Eagles jersey or a New England Patriots jersey. I was going to wear my Rams jersey, but then a lot of people would have said, hey, man, are you crazy? But uh, it's my local team. In fact, I might wear that to the party, just so I don't go in a t-shirt. Uh, they're building that stadium up here, probably 20 miles from me. Uh, and it's gonna be for the Chargers. Wow, oh, man, this is really, Susie Banna really have, has good soaps. Look at that. They're building that stadium. And for us people who live in Southern California, I either have to drive two hours to the south, eight hours to the north, or five hours to the east to get to a football game if I wanted to watch one. So now I can drive 20 miles or two hours in traffic up the road next to the fabulous Forum. And even if you don't like the Rams or the Chargers and you live in Southern California, you can watch any team there, right? So hopefully that stadium will be up soon. It's coming along good. It's going to be state of the art. I've been to Chargers Stadium down in uh, San Diego and it was getting a little dated. That's the only football stadium I've been to. Well, Angel Stadium, the Rams used to play here back decades ago, but hoping that stadium comes along good. It's going to be a good game today. I'm not rooting for either team. We're going to at the party I'm going to, we're going to have squares, you know, uh, you throw your money in or pick a square. So I just want to get some good luck on that. But uh, I have seen Eagle Stadium. I went out there to uh, Pat's Philly Cheese Steaks and uh, we drove by uh, the Eagle Stadium. It's right across from uh, the Philly Stadium. So I have driven past those stadiums. I've never been to the New England Patriots Stadium. So yeah, I'd like to see New England uh, lose to uh, the Phillies, but uh, if they win, hey, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it's a good game, like the World Series. Very nice. Oh man, I got soap in my eye earlier. The shower, still red. Almost there. How was your weekend, guys? I was talking to Colin, a friend of mine from Newcastle, and I guess he went down to towards London. He said to watch Newcastle play yesterday, uh, Newcastle United, and I heard they tied 1-1. And I asked, I asked, you know, because I've not been to one last Newcastle game I went to was in 1974 and I had a stand and uh, I was a kid I was with my dad he had to stand on like this number there was no seats people were spilling beer on me they were throwing things fights I mean <laughs> I don't know if that's how it is that's my memory of it
But I do hear from people who live out here, uh, who moved out here from from the UK, that uh, if they go to see their home team play at another stadium, sometimes after the game they got to run to the subway or the train station and worried about getting into a fight. Or maybe they like to get into a fight. I guess it would be like, you know, going to some of these uh, football games out here wearing the opposing jerseys. But uh, I asked them, I said, is, uh, is it okay after the game and down in London to... Uh, be wearing a Newcastle colors. And he says that uh, a lot of people like to see Newcastle play their team. So he says it's usually not any trouble. Don't know if it's true. A lot of you guys are in the UK. You could let me know. I always like hearing how uh, my old hometown team is doing. Especially when they're playing Sunderland. Very relaxed today. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting a lot of classics on display here. I've kind of cleared up the shave down a bit, made some more room, it was filling up fast. Man, those blades are awesome. I'm trying to get my son back into wet shaving and uh, using a DE blade, DE razor. He was using, uh, he uses the Gillette Mach 3. And my wife picked him up four blades today on sale for 10 bucks. So, $2.50 a blade versus a nickel a blade. For money, it's a no brainer. But, my wife walked right into the Rite Aid Pharmacy or Rite Aid Drugstore I was able to pick up those Mach 3 blades, no problem. There's no D blades there. Would be nice. Have a big variety. A lot of followers from the UK, a lot of followers from Australia, a lot of followers for the channel from uh, uh, Italy and India. Can you guys walk into a, like a supermarket or a pharmacy and have a variety of blades, maybe four or five DE blades to choose from? I'd be curious to know. Can't do it here. Now, I can do it if I go to West Coast Shaving, but West Coast Shaving is probably the closest... Uh, shave store to me and uh, it's about a 45 minute to 50 minute drive so it's not that it's good now if you're living close to there it's probably great you can go get whatever you want but I don't have that luxury wow that's BBS all angles Hear that? Nothing. Doesn't warrant a third pass. Not trying to save time, but that's overkill. I put cold water on. Cold water closes up those pores. Whew. Kind of a shock to the system, too. Not one nick. Oh, some Humphreys. Very nice. I got the Lagerfeld photo. I have to show you the bottle. And that came out in, I think, 1990 or 91. And my wife actually bought it for me shortly after we were married. 
And uh, she, she goes, what's that? And I go, well, similar to what you bought me. And I, I found the original formula, everything original. And uh, she liked this better. All right. It does smell good. That's a nice burn too. Oh, very nice. Very nice smelling. Whew. Wow, very nice. Still available today. Still available today. Now this is the Cody, and I forget what the modern one is, but uh, sure smells good. Whoop, there goes the plumbing. Guys, thanks for watching. Good luck to both teams. Uh, in the Super Bowl today. You guys in Europe or uh, down under are watching. Uh, hopefully it's a good game. Keeps everybody entertained. Hopefully you're in a bar just having a blast. I'm going to be at a party. They've got a giant screen. It's got to be bigger than 70 inch reclining chairs. I'm just going to stake my, my seat out early. They got tacos, food galore. Probably going to gain five pounds, but uh, it'll be well worth it. Have a great day. Great weekend, what's left of it, and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye for now.